my personality and just the way I'm wired, this challenge was so perfect for me because I did it publicly. And, and when you do something publicly, when you put goals out publicly, when you have daily things that you say you're gonna do publicly, like in my mind that there was no failure, like failure was not even close to being an option. There was never a chance I was not gonna get that second workout in at one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, because it was public. started building my personal brand on Facebook and I used it as an accountability tool. So uh, I would jump on Facebook Live as I was headed down to the territory that I was selling in at the time, which is in Georgia, traveling from South Carolina. And I would throw out my goal for the week. I'd say, hey, I'm gonna sell this many life insurance policies this week. And then each day uh, I would keep um, people up to date. Hey, my goal was to sell 40 policies. And after day one of four, uh, I sold 10 today. So I'm right on track. Um, social media for me has always been an accountability tool. It's been an empowerment tool for other people, but for me, selfishly, it has been an accountability tool. And I have only, only gotten better the more I've documented because it creates this level of accountability that's unmatched. And so 75 hard in and of itself is an accountability tool, but by documenting the process of going through 75 hard, it'll take it to a whole nother level. And I truly believe it's the only way that I'll be able to make it work. But what I realized when the challenge was over is I don't know if I yet have it ingrained in me for me to be able to do that for myself. Now, part of me would say that's not necessarily a weakness. It's more of an awareness that you need to keep those structures in place in order to keep doing the things you need to do. And I agree with that to a degree, but I do think that I have more growing and maturing and learning and evolving to do. Because I've often said on, on this vlog or on an episode of the podcast that you know, we can't hold ourselves accountable to reach the highest level of success and performance and execution in order to get yourself to the highest level of performance, to get as close as possible to whatever that potential is that you think that you have. I don't think that you can hold yourself accountable. I think you have to have people and processes in place in order to do that. And so you can hold yourself accountable to get better, sure. but you can, I don't think you can hold yourself accountable to be the best. That we can hold ourselves very well at being mediocre. We can even hold ourselves accountable to be good, above average, but to reach that like top 1%, like we have to have people and processes in place to get us there. But I think there's a balance of the mental toughness along with the structure to where when the structure goes away, the mental toughness takes over. When the public accountability goes away, the personal mindset takes over.